Hey everybody. This is BZ Archer or Jamie or Puppet or like six other nicknames. As you can probably imagine, I worked in IT, have worked in IT for almost 30 years. I will answer to goddamn near anything. So, <laughs> um, this is my Kickstarter stuff for Battletech Mercenaries. There's a lot. Oh God, there's a lot. <laughs> um, and everybody seems to be doing unboxing videos. So here's mine. I'm doing this on my phone. I will probably make a lot of mistakes. I apologize, but that's life. Um, I do want to disclose that I do write for Catalyst in the form of freelance stories and content in RPG books including content related to Battletech and Shadowrun, but I was in no way compensated by Catalyst for this Kickstarter, unless you include the fact that one of my story paychecks went to paying for my shipping. Um, they did not give me any special treatment. My shipment actually got delayed for quite a while because it turned out one thing was missing, and I finally talked to the guys at Quartermaster and basically just said, could you please just send what we have? because the one thing that was missing was a very minor thing, and I can live without it. But uh, I have been in no way compensated for what I've spent in this Kickstarter uh, to my fiancé's dear, dear horror. Love you, Catherine. Uh, I promise we made rent. Well, paid the mortgage, but you know what I mean. Um, and since I did pay for this, like, really, for the most part, about eight, nine months ago. I don't feel too, too bad. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, get into this, shall we? All right, so uh, I did slit the tape with my X-Acto just to save myself trying to do an X-Acto while recording it, which sounds like a great way to slice your hand up really badly. Um, the cats are going to be delighted. There's lots of bubble wrap. You may have caught Rocket and Jet actually running around the boxes a moment ago. Here is box number one. Uh, this is Jamie, or I think really properly should be Jaime Wolf's Archer. There's Jet. Hi, Jet. He likes bubble wrap packaging. Uh, this may actually be a holiday gift for a friend, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Same with this totally not Max Sterling Phoenix Hawk, which, uh, again, holiday gift for a friend. And uh, you can see my archer hanging out there next to Elise, my violin, and a bunch of Overwatch pops because, God, it could have been such a good, oh well. I'm not going to get going on that because uh, I wouldn't stop, really. So that was about half of this box which is both good and terrifying. And then we have our stuff here. Let's see, this is the city map pack. That's awesome. Very cool. I'm looking forward to playing around with that. And we've got our easy use record sheets uh, based on some of the stuff in the force packs and the mercenaries box set itself. There's that flea in the American Militia colors. So, Purple Bird Strong. Uh, my copy of Battletech Legends 2, which I'm looking forward to going through. I've already been reading the PDFs a bit, but it's nice just to have a physical copy of things. We've got The Art of War as translated by Jaime Wolf. Um, if you have not read the translation, the annotated uh, version of this with his translation, I actually think it's quite good. I've read a couple other translations of it, and I think some of the points he makes in his, or whoever wrote the annotations uh, in real life, uh, I think that might have been, I think that might have been Mike Stackpole, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I thought a lot of the points that were made were very good. I think some of the interpretations they made were also very interesting. And I supported getting to read this and learn a bit more and really enjoyed it quite a bit. So 
hopefully somebody out there is getting to crack this open today or whenever they got their package and is enjoying it as much as I did. Let's see, we're getting down to the, to the bottom here. Uh, this is our Savannah map pack, which go nicely with our Savannah masters that are, I don't think in this box, but will be in another box here very soon. poster set that came from a Kickstarter with both the recognition guide on the back and some of the other art from the Kickstarter on the front. That is, I think, the Lyran Guard versus, um, I think it might have been the 21st Centauri Lancers. I, I have these on my computer and they're a lot easier to look up back there, but the boxes were here, and I'll be honest, I didn't want to haul them all the way back there and then haul them back to wherever I'm going to put all this while I try to get through painting and basing, and oh god, what have I done? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got some challenge coins. We've got uh, the Scorpion Imperial, or Scorpion Empire. Clan Seafox, everybody's favorite mercenary brokers now, among other things. By the way, if you haven't read the new Brian Young Seafox novella that came out this past weekend, read it. It's good. Shout out to Mr. Swankmatron. Uh, we have the Elysian Lancers here. I really enjoyed a recent story uh, that came out. I think it was... I think it was a Michael Ciavarella. And I'm sorry, I probably just butchered your name, but we haven't met in person yet, so I have to kind of just do this off my own uh, terrible, terrible volition. Uh, but this is really pretty. Uh, I really enjoyed that story. It basically involved the Lancers deciding to let the Sea Foxes act as their broker for the next contract. And speaking of... Ooh -hoo. So these are some of the Northwind Highlanders laser-cut dice. God, that is insanely pretty. Um, damn. And then I've got uh, the Elysian Lancers here. I don't know if you can see the logo. There it is. Oh, man. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Oh, I hope those are all as, I hope these are all as good as they look. I really want to use these. Um, Wolfnet's got an Alpha Strike tournament coming up not too long from now. And of course, I had to get a first Somerset Strikers challenge coin. I mean, I'm a child of the 80s and 90s, and... Oh, God, they tried. <laughs> they tried pretty hard. Like, the, the actual animated show is not bad in a lot of places. And in some places, it's... Not good either, but they tried hard. Got the Northwind Highlanders patch to go on my increasingly ill-fitting mech warrior jacket because I've lost about 200 pounds since I bought that. Actually, more than that probably now. But um, I don't know. Maybe I can find a smaller size one on eBay or trade. Let's see. We've got the Clan Sea Fox dice here. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. You can, that's just pretty. Look at that. You can kind of see that refracting the light from my uh, living room lamp. And uh, yeah. Oh, I'm really looking forward to playing with these. Oh my God. I am ridiculously hyped about these guys. Uh, the Northwind Highlanders Challenge coin, which was kind of hiding under some of the bubble wrap, not surprisingly. Um, Elysian Lancer's pin, very good. Uh, Northwind Highlander's pin. Put those on your backpack and either confuse or delight everyone you meet. We've got our Visigoth Aerospace Fighter. Woo! Shout out to Bjorn Jorgensen. Uh, we've got our Elysian Lancer's patch. We've got our Sea Fox patch. Uh, 
we've got our, oh, who the hell dice are these for? I forget. Uh, oh, these are the Merrick dice. Okay. I can sort of see the eagle through the other side, but unfortunately with the way these were packaged, I can't actually get a good look at it. But uh, they look cool. They look cool. These really look gorgeous, honestly. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. These are some of the most beautiful dice I think we had associated with Battletech. Um, here's the Chevron uh, logo ones. I, I had it here a second ago. There we go. So those are really nice. Like, really, really nice. I'm really enjoying them. Just going through here, and I think that's it for our first box. I don't see anything else hiding underneath the uh, bubble wrap. So we'll uh, give my cats a new fancy play bed, and we're going to move on to box number two. So here we've got, uh, looks like some of the Battlefield Force Packs and Support Packs and maybe some of the Loose Salvage Boxes. We'll find out in a second. Ooh, the Assault and Cav Lance. Oh yeah. So let's see. Uh, two Harassers. Two Shrek PPC Carriers. Two... Uh, condors, I think, and two demolishers. Oh yeah, somebody's not gonna like that when I start fielding these. We've got our recon and hunter lances, so uh, two Ontos tanks. I think these are behemoths. Uh, Skulker scout cars, and we've got a couple of warrior VTOLs. Very nice, exciting. Or wait, are those warriors or are those? No, I think they're warriors. Okay, yeah, they're definitely warriors here. You can see the uh, auto cannon barrel. I thought for a moment they might be hawk moths, but I was like, I pretty or not hawk moths, yellow jackets. I was like, I'm pretty sure we didn't get a figure of this yet. Let's see. This is the heavy battle and sweep support lance. So we've got uh, two, I think those are patents. They might be a Von Luckner, don't quote me on that. Um, I think these are Drillison hover tanks. I think these might be J. Edgar's. Yeah, they've got the rooster tail. We're gonna have to find some more Trans Am decals to put on these. And some pikes when you really want to throw a lot of AC2s downfield in a hurry. Uh, rifle and Command Lance. I think this is one of the ones that got announced, but I'm not sure we saw it before it came due. I think these might be Drillisons up front. And then... Um, are those Hunter Tanks, maybe? I'll have to look through the recognition guides later, but I think those are Hunters. Then we got two Hetzers. And, oh, these are definitely the Von Luckners. I can kind of tell by the shape of the missile launchers behind the turret, or on the back of the turret. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Other people have been doing um, unboxing of the individual force packs, and I love you guys, but I don't love you enough to make a four-hour video going through every single thing in here, so um, we'll just kind of table that. I'm just going to go through what I got. <laughs> All right, we got the Legendary Mech Warriors. So this one is focused on the Bounty Hunter, because it's Mech Warriors 3. So we got another type of Warhammer. We got a Marauder 2C... Or no, sorry, regular Marauder 2. Got a Loki 2. We've got the Marauder, uh, or sorry, the Mad Cat Bounty Hunter configuration. We've got his custom Marauder that I think includes the Gauss rifle and has an optional thing for if you put the Gauss or the AC on it. 
and the Griffin 2N that one of his uh, entourage uses. That's cool. I actually really like the 2N. It's, it's not Sparky. Sparky might still be my favorite, but it's up there. So let's see what else we got down here. Um, let's see. This is... Uh, okay, five. Okay, this is our Clan Cavstar. So we've got our Locust 2C. Uh, really, it's the 2C box. We got a Black Python or White Raven or whatever we're calling it this week. We got our Shadowhawk 2C, which I'm really looking forward to painting. We've got our uh, Griffin 2C. And we've got a Jenner 2C, which, again, really looking forward to painting. And yes, I know my hair's messed up. I was playing Nerf in the woods with a bunch of other people in the park for about five hours, and I came home and I found this. So, take a shower or something after I'm done. Maybe a nice bath. Oh, yeah. Blood asp. Oh, that's going to be fun. Nasty, nasty little creature. I'm looking forward to using it. I just realized I'm packaging, unpacking a bunch of the uh, boxes I've been looking at in the other, uh, on top of the other box, but that's okay because I can just move them back in here. For the moment, though, I'm just going to put that down. Uh, one of our mercenary random mech salvage boxes, and I may not open everything, but you know what? I think I can manage this one, so forgive me for the very clean, very nice packaging. There we go. Let's see what we got. Um, difficult to tell at that angle. So, not something instantly recognizable, but oh, hello. I stand corrected. It's another Shadowhawk TC. That's awesome. I can do things with you. I have a variant in mind to maybe convert you to. And um, in addition to the actual mech that I just almost punted, which, oh, that looks really good. I really love this sculpt, I will admit. This is one I may get in metal, too, for the slightly higher detail, just because I really, really like this sculpt and what they did with it. Uh, I want to say that was one of Justin's, so shout out to you. to see. Ooh, Shiva Keshek. Nice. Rickard Novacat. Right. I could see myself painting it up as Rickard because I actually have some Spirit Cat minis that I did for a little bit of a lark um, because I wanted to play with reflective armor on the cave land and the Wendigo and doing uh, what you call it um, some special effect paints. Uh, use some turbo dork, dork stuff for that, but that's another show. So, so we'll put that back right there, and then we have our other blood asp. Yes, I got two. I decided I wanted to because I can paint one up as uh, star adder and do something different with the other. I'm gonna wait to look at my other salvage boxes here. Uh, but we do have the Savannah Master Box. I'm really excited about these two. These are going to be fun to paint and fun to throw into stuff. And then our last one here is another Battle of the Firelands package. Um, so these are our SRM and LRM carriers, respectively. Um, I believe these are Manticore tanks. And then I think, are these regulators? They might be. Somebody can correct me on that. Uh, it's the first thing that comes to mind when I look at them. Though, wait a minute, I think those are tracks, not hover skirts, so I'm wrong. Um, I forget what these are. I suppose I could actually look at the box and it'll tell me, maybe. Uh, 
Okay, we got the confirmation of the Manticore, we got the alarm carrier, and then... Oh, those are vedettes! Right, okay. I shoot them so freaking much in the uh, various online games that I don't really remember what they look like, because they're usually gone. Yes, I'm a bad person sometimes, why do you ask? Oop, well, I first I dropped it trying to get turned around the right way, but... Ooh, yeah, that's sexy. Yeah, I got the Carbon Fiber Mercenaries base box because Carbon Fiber is cool. And brittle, like me. Wait, no, don't go with that. But um, I really like how this looks. Like, this is really, really shiny. The textured finish is cool. I kind of wish they'd just left the back of the box black, honestly. Like... The point of a special edition box is you kind of know what you're getting already, but... Oh well. So we'll crack that open later. I'm looking forward to that. We'll go ahead and put these back in box number two, which the cats are going to be disappointed by, but I'm probably going to want to do just to keep some order. Let's make it easier to take them into the hobby room and build a small box fort of <laughs> tanks and necks. <laughs> um, good lord. This is going to get weird, but you know, that's fun. All right, so now, box number three should be most Carmex and some more add-ons of various kinds, but mostly Max. Um, yeah. So we have some vehicle salvage boxes. We have some mercenary max salvage boxes. Uh, we have... Dun, 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 dun. All right, the Inner Spear Heavy Recon Lance. So that is... Let's see. That's um, Assassin. That's the Ostrock. That's... It's not the Merlin, is it? I thought the Merlin was in a different box, but I may be wrong. Ooh, Firestarter. Look at that little guy. Oh, no, that is the Merlin. Okay, cool. It's a little hard to see kind of the shape of the head here, which would have been more of a giveaway for me. But, yeah, nice. Let's see who's next up. Oh, Clan Direct Fire Star. So we've got our Bane. We've got the. Um, is that the Mastodon? I think. Or no, that's the Grizzly. Excuse me. Highlander 2C. We've got the Phoenix Hawk 2C and the Rifleman 2C. Yeah, this will be fun. Uh, bagpipes intensify, everybody. And then I've got. The Inner Sphere Battle Armor. Uh, if you follow Unicorn Company, Carrie just did a really good review of this box. I'm not going to try to reinvent the wheel, but it's nice to have some Inner Sphere Battle Armor to represent stuff. Um, I'm working on an army list for a tournament that's going to have Cavalier suits, and there isn't currently a plastic Cavalier mini, and trying to paint a bunch of the metal ones is doable, but not necessarily the first thing I want to do. So I'm probably going to put a few of these in matching colors to the FedCom regiments and uh, call it good. Uh, here we have, ooh, we have our Union. So this is the map scale Union dropship. That's going to be fun. I may paint it up in the colors of one of the units that I've been working on. I might paint it up in the color of a unit that I might be doing a story for. I've got a couple of what would fit. We'll see. But uh, I'm excited. This is our 100 millimeter timber wool for Mad Cat. Um, Jet. 
Jet, you cannot operate a battle mech or a suit of battle armor. You don't have thumbs. You don't. You don't have thumbs, bud. I'm sorry. You don't have thumbs. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Jet, really? Come on. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's going to be fun. Um, I'm sure everybody and their mother is either painting this up as the ghost bearer. Um, Kesh I think it was the Orse Kashik off the front of TRO 3050 from the original one. Or doing Wolf Beta Galaxy. So I'll have to do something different. Um, I can't do it as Death Trap because it doesn't have the jump jets and I... <laughs> Excuse me. I don't really want to try to rewrite the rewrite the wheel on this either, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a smoke jaguar paint job. I do have a pretty good handle on doing the uh, mist keshek and the uh, alpha galaxy paint jobs, or I might do the uh, shroud keshek. That would look pretty cool on this. So we'll see. For the moment. Thank you for not falling completely out of the box on me. For the moment. I'm just going back in here. And I will move it back in a second. Come on, bud. Come on. Thank you. Let's see. We've got our inner sphere. Uh, another copy of the Heavy Recon Lance. I did do that on purpose because I like fire starters and I actually like Merlins quite a bit. So. We'll definitely make use of that. Inner Sphere Assault Lance. Oh, baby. So that's the Goliath. We've got the Hoplite. I, I'm i sorry. Uh, the Shogun, which is... Okay. Uh, and the Pillager, but I need to take a second here. The fact that the Shogun is actually one of the more regularly produced mechs going back to when uh, Vasa and later Catalyst had the Plastech because they had and did the Alpha Strike Lance boxes that originally came out, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years ago. Um, and the Shogun was in there because it was one they had the molds for, so they could really easily make it in plastic. And I understand this and I respect it. But if you look at the lore, the Shogun is so insanely rare. The Dragoons had, I want to say, six of them when they came to the Inner Sphere, and it was pretty strongly implied that these were the last six left. And then at least three of them got scrapped on Misery. And now I was reading the Legends book, uh, and one of them was re there was one that was upgraded to clan tech standards and given to Kitsune Kurita. And and I think one of, one of the Wanamaker's Widowmakers uh, captured one from a refit yard. And there's like one other that may be left around somewhere. And yet we get Shogun minis by the bushel compared to like anything else. <laughs> Why do we keep reproducing the mech that we only canonically have like a handful of left in the inner sphere? I don't know. I'm, well, okay, I know the real answer. It's because they had the molds and they wanted to make money. But my God, guys, come on. <laughs> this is our other legendary mech warriors box. So we have Archer Christofori. We have another Marauder. Um, that's not Grace and Carlisle. It's somebody different. And I forget who it's supposed to be. And I'll look on the back of the box in a sec. Uh, this, I believe, is supposed to be the Devastator that uh, Griff Storm piloted with Storm to Mill Thunder. That's Jeremiah Rose's Charger. And this is Calandra Kell's uh, Tank Destroyer. So who's this other one? Uh, oh no, it's actually can be done as McCarran's Armored Cavalry. All right, fair enough. 
I did have the Giovanni one, right? Oh, Abdu and Recall. Okay. Okay. Okay, fair enough. I'm, uh... It could have been anybody else. Uh, it's okay. I might do it up just to say I did it because it is a really cool paint scheme and, you know, it was on the front of the box. But at the same time, like, really? Marcus Barton, that's pretty good. I could see doing the Big Mac. I, I know it's not canonical in the Ill Clan era when he was piloting. But I know they did, like, the chrome finish mirror shine for their first regiment for a while. And that actually sounds like a fun excuse to mess around with that. We'll see. And I've got plenty of Kellhounds painted, trust me. Uh, we got a couple more of our salvage boxes here. And we've got... Uh, the Intersphere Security Lance, so that's a Jaeger Mech, a Scorpion, Vulcan, and a Whitworth. And um, some of these will keep you alive, one way or the other. And then we've got our Intersphere Recon Lance. So we have the Aus Scout. Uh, we have... Oh, is that the Fire Starter? Is the other one something different? It might be. Uh, that's, I think, is that the chameleon? And we got our javelin. Hi there. Like four different people just groaned at the little joke that I snuck in there, which is fun. And we've got our, uh, other pursuit lance. So this is the cicada... This is the uh, Clint, the Hermes II, Purple Bird Strong, and the Dervish, which will be fun. I actually have been getting really good mileage out of Dervish in my current Battletech Expanded game. Oh, God. Wow. Speaking of 90s nostalgia. So that's the Wolfhound piloted by Ciro Ramirez. That's Franklin Sakamoto's Haramoto Chi. Uh, that's going to be going. I don't. They better get the Haramoto Chi out in a Korea pack or something because these are going to go like crazy. That's just such a gorgeous mini. People are going to want that. Uh, we got the Marauder from uh, Zachary Hawkins. Or not Marauder, Muller. Why did I say Marauder? I'm still stuck on the other box, I guess. Uh, Adam Steiner's. Axeman 2N, and that is a really nice sculpt. That is way better than the sculpt on the Axeman 1N as far as dynamic posing goes. And I do believe that implies that we've got some jump jet plumes in the back of the box that might be able to be used. And Vaulton Rider's Bushwhacker, which also does, that does not jump, but it does get a little bit of terrain to base it on. That's going to be cool. I guess I'm doing a city build for the basing on these guys. Some kind of urban combat, uh, except Ciro, because he sucks. <laughs> yes, I have opinions. And then we've got, uh, we already looked at the Capstar. So who are you back here? Ah, Battle Tech Encounters. Cool. Excellent. So that's good. That's really cool. And I know I'll have um, some other stuff coming. Some of the books and stuff will be released when they get from the printers. But uh, yeah, for the most part, that's my stuff. I'm really genuinely delighted by this. I am so gonna be just going crazy painting stuff. I don't even know if I'll survive, but this is so cool. Um, this is really, really awesome. Thank you for checking this out. Um, whew, yeah, that's about a half an hour of video. Damn. I haven't even hauled these into the coffee room yet, so I uh, guess I'll better do that in a minute. But uh, this is really just 
awesome. I'm so excited for this. And shout out to everyone at Catalyst who worked on this. Shout out to all the different freelancers involved with this. And I'll give Porter Master Logistics props for all the issues that did come up. They've generally found answers. So nicely done, guys. Nicely done.